Today we are going on a journey with Ivan, an analog astronaut, where we learn what it is like to be one whilst exploring the science museum and eating some space food. Hey, uh, this is Helen Sherman, Space Suit, and I am Evandro Sodosiu. I am an analog astronaut and I'm currently doing my masters at Advanced Mechanical Engineering at Imperial College in London. Since a very young age, I had a passion about physics, mass, and space. I was like looking in the stars every day, every night. What's that? What's that? I was always asking so many questions. And as I got older, I started loving, you know, uh, small uh, one minute physics, for example, you know, uh, learning about space, about uh, cosmos, about all the things that get someone enthusiastic. And then the philosophy part, when I got even uh, older, what is out there? Are we going to find something one day? I want to be an astronaut because I want to create a better future for humanity. The name of my mission is Astra 45. 45 indicates, obviously, <laughs> their number that we were um, in, in the analog base. And Astra, it's uh, the plural of a Greek word meaning stars. So we were, let's say, a group of stars uh, going into the mission. Um, we've been trained in Analog Astronaut Training Center in Poland, in Krakow. And um, my mission was a little bit more different because it was specified about uh, specific about diversity. We were we were six people from six different religions, five different uh, um, ethnicities and countries, and four different continents. So we wanted to see how this diversity uh, can be uh, joined to work together as a team, as a crew. In this mission, I was the communication officer. We tried to avoid any military uh, hierarchy. I had to basically pass the information coming from the mission control center to my crew members and then vice versa. We had to report back with, uh, what each one of us has done. It had to be uh, gone through me to, to, to inform the superiors, yeah, the flight director. Our mission was quite short, it was only eight days in isolation. Well, I'm saying short now, but at the moment it's not the same uh, experience and feeling. In the base, uh, isolated from the outside world, we still had the chance, if we wanted, to communicate uh, by phone call only. Personally, I only contact them once, to be honest, uh, just to tell them, you know, I'm alive, everything is okay, I'm having fun, no worries. At the beginning, it was uh, quite easy, you know, eight days, no, nothing special. In eight days, uh, before I know it, I will be out. But no, basically, interaction with the sun, with light, with anything. So you lose track of time. Time appears to, I don't know, go slower somehow. But uh, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. I, I loved it. It's, it was actually a more positive thing rather than a negative thing because, oh, you know, like I have another three days. Oh, that's great. You know, I have a lot of stuff to do. I wanted to explore even more. I remember me and uh, one of my crew members, we started an experiment two days before our mission in Crest just because we wanted to do more. What's the reason to go? analog astronaut if you are not gonna reach your full potential. In my mission there were actually two types of experiments. Uh, the experiments that everybody is doing, all of the crew, all of the analog astronauts. This category involves uh, our diet, our schedule. The second category is our personal experiments, things that we either came up with or um, they had been assigned to us. My experiment was about kombucha outcasting. I think my favorite experiment, one of the first category that everybody was doing, it was a time perception. The first thing that we had to do uh, just after we wake up and uh, the last thing that we had to do just before we went to sleep, it was uh, to basically every five seconds tap on a screen that it was changing colors. The experiment and the idea was to see how our perception of, t of time is changing in isolation over time. So how this experiment is related to space, being in a lava tube on a cave uh, or somewhere that you don't have direct sunlight on moon or Mars, uh, you lose the perception of time or at least it alters. So they wanted to create a database to, have, to be prepared for this, for the circadian rhythm of our body and everything. My time perception 
At the end of the mission, I thought five seconds, they were passing faster for a reason. I, I haven't even understood yet why I was thinking that. Learning the correct time management. Uh, that might sound a little bit silly, but uh, believe me, when you are overloaded with a lot of tasks, you have to make sure that you are doing everything uh, but with the right priority and at the right time because at the end of the day I was uh, pushing my sleep time in order to make sure that I'm finishing everything. Uh, I wanted to be productive, I wanted to be efficient. For eight days my, that might be reasonable but uh, what about 500 days? Can you postpone your sleep? Not really. So it's a good thing to learn how to balance everything. I got involved with uh, uh, space agriculture, which is hydroponics, I got involved with uh, space engineering, all these different aspects, different uh, uh, sciences, and at last, my crew. I, I got the chance to bond with uh, another five people. Uh, we came really close, you know, going through highs, through lows. I think the first and most important thing for an outdoor astronaut to have as a person, passion for what uh, he's doing, passion for space. Uh, be curious, that's very important. Um, try to learn more, always ha work hard, uh, want to evolve as a personality. You have to be uh, punctual, you have to be uh, reasonable, you have to be disciplined. Hi guys, this is the Apollo 10 command module that you can find in the Science Museum in London. Now we're gonna taste some space food, starting with the freeze-dried strawberries. So let's see what are they're tasting like. Honest opinion. Hmm. Honest opinion. First of all, they don't have much of a texture. It's a weird, you know, you, you, you basically bite and becomes dust. However, I have to say that the taste is quite intensive, so you can still feel the taste despite, you know, you can see it, it's very ripe. I don't know how to, to explain how it looks like, but uh, it has quite strong flavor. So I would say it's a seven out of 10. In my mission, we had um, a diet based on jars and, um, and cans. We had nothing fresh, no fresh food, no of any kind. So it was quite demanding on how we have to balance uh, our diet to have uh, the right amount of vitamins. We wrap up, we're gonna try some space food. Um, Ivan just tried strawberries and apparently they weren't very nice. So we're gonna try something different. So Ivan, do you wanna do the honors and get the other space food? Yeah. Which I believe is an ice cream sandwich. Talk a little okay. bit about so, it. So, yeah, this is it. This is it here? This is how do it looks. Do you wanna show it to the camera? And mm. I'll go around and I'll, I'll zoom into it. This is basically what it looks like. Yeah, I already had a bite, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't resist. <laughs> they'll know, they'll know, they'll know, they'll know. Okay, cool. Um, okay, what do you think of it? I don't think it's that bad. Yeah? I think um, I will have eaten that anyway. Okay. It was, it was, yeah, it was pretty good. Cool. And the close truth taste. Is I had a bite of it. She had half of it. Yeah. And now I'm going to try the strawberries because apparently that's not very nice. So, that's disgusting. It has a good aftertaste though, I think strawberries. While this doesn't have much of an aftertaste, but it has a good actual taste, you know? It's I don't like, know if that makes sense. It tastes like if you get cardboard and you put strawberry syrup all over it, and you put it in the freezer, and you take it out, you let it cool down, and that just went in my mouth. Mm, mm, I guess it's... Anyway, let's show them the packet. That's it, once yeah. again. And we're actually at Imperial, we're at Ivan's University. Where he studies, where he sleeps, where he lives, where he works. 
we play, so we make friends. Yeah. Mainly yeah. Sarizo. Yeah, mainly. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Anissa Curation. This is Like an Astronaut. This is what it's like to be an analog astronaut. Soon I will be trying it out myself, going and doing a mission in Spain. But until then, uh, remember to like, comment and subscribe. And as always, stay safe and hopefully one day I will see you in space.